So following the weekend of Comic-Con, huge announcements, we've gotten even more news about the X-Men. Big, big fan of the X-Men. Love the X-Men. To be honest, I think Fox has made two really good X-Men movies, one pretty good one, and then the some really crappy X-related movies, and that would be X-Men 3, and Origins. Wolverine Origins, X-Men. Which they're pretending didn't happen. Uh, we all wish that hadn't happened. Um, so, but the news comes out and it's pretty exciting. They, obviously everybody knows they're doing Days of Future Past. Yes. They, Fox brought out the whole cast. We're talking old X-Men, new X-Men. New cast who haven't been in any of them yet. Peter the, Dinklage. Bishop. One of my favorites. I love it. I'm, ex I'm really excited by this. And then they obviously showed a little bit of what's going on. Uh, we had scenes of Cerebro blowing up, um, the Oval Office blowing up, and... Sentinels? Sentinels? And we finally know now who Peter Dinklage is. I think that's been the biggest question on yep. everybody's minds. And he's going to be Trask, the creator of the Sentinels, which I'm just excited to be seeing him as a villain. We yeah. kind of all knew it, but now we know for sure he is it's, a villain. It's pretty exciting. The only down or bad part of that casting news is Cubby called it. So now we have to yeah. Give him some, yeah, we have to give him some credit, which sucks. Other than that, it's Other awesome. than that, yeah. It is we awesome. We just have to pretend that he didn't call it first. So it appears, and we, we don't know, We just this is going from what they said in the panel, that Wolverine's subconscious is set back to the 70s to meet up with the first class team to give them a heads up. To warn them. That this is what's going on. And then they have to fight to correct it. Honestly, I have to say, I was really worried about how they were going to make this work, and now it actually sounds like it's going to work. Um, I'm excited because the, the first two X-Men were Brian Singer, and now, now we're back Brian to Brian Singer. Singer directing. I'm really hoping that because there's a lot of time travel and we can mess with things, this corrects all the wrongs, and that we can fix some of the things that were, wait a minute, this happened first class, but how can that be possible with what happened in the X-Men? Well, another thing I heard that there's a rumor that James Marsden has been seen on set, so I feel like that is going to be undoing the third one. The worst movies, worst, why did you yeah. kill Cyclops? Dumb. So hopefully that, I, I'm hoping that he was seen on set and that means that they're going to do something about that, which, I would, yes. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Don't punish him for going to Superman Returns. Being in Superman Returns was punishment enough. Yes. Well. Anywho. The other bit of news, and this isn't this wasn't necessarily announced during uh, Comic Con, but they were interviewing uh, Kick Ass Two director Jeff Wadlow about X Force mm -hmm. because they did announce that they're going to be making an X Force movie, which I am excited and nervous at the same time. But the natural question will, I actually I don't think this is a natural question. I think it should be automatically assumed: Will Cable be in the movie, the character mm -hmm. Cable? And he came back with, he doesn't know because he doesn't know which lineup he's going to put in. So pretty much all they know is they're making a movie, but they don't know where it's going. No, and this freaks me out because Cable is X-Force. I know, he is not currently X-Force. Uncanny X-Force, Rick Remender's run, which ended, was really good. I like the Assassin Squad, that was great. The current Uncanny X-Force, I'm not a big fan of, so if he makes that movie, then that will suck ass. But at least, hey, girl power. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I don't like Puck, the only guy. Too, so <laughs> that's my biggest beef with it. But I don't understand how you can have an X-Force movie without Cable. Maybe. I'd love to see Deadpool involved as well, and mm -hmm. Fox owns that too. So I'm, I'm very leery at this moment. Maybe the Deadpool movie will have Cable? Maybe. I don't know. As long as they have swords with no mouth, and <laughs> standing on top of a nuclear... Oh man! Anyway. Well, just, just think. Wish for the best. I, maybe Come it's on, good Fox. also that they haven't announced it though, because he hasn't announced that Cable won't be in it. And that might be it. He might be trying to hide the cast. So, let us know in the comments below what you guys think of the new X Men movie, the new X Force potential. We want to know.